let's have a little fun today. And I have some live gameplay behind this introduction. And this introduction's a little bit longer. That way you can fully grasp what's going on. I have a base that I want to go over. And the base can be used a number of different ways. I want to talk about the power of Reign of Fire. And specialized things like this, you lose a little bit of what you're used to. Like on a Warlock, maybe it's Ophidians, maybe the Stag. Osmio, whatever exotic, usually have high stats and recovery, just best for PvP stat splits. With this though, and similar things, depending on the element that you choose, that can change a little bit, and I'll show you mine in a second. One of the most powerful things in the game from a pure lethality perspective is Reign of Fire Harmony, and that goes twofold on the proc. This is something for you to try and fit in what you like to do with it. Reign of Fire, dodging reloads all weapons and improves AE, but final blows with linear fusions or fusion rifles makes you radiant. And in PvP, radiant's 10% more damage. So you're gonna pick a fusion of choice. I'm going with a crafted Tekion Force. It's a charge time masterwork. Full bore projection fuse, slideways, high impact reserves. Slideways, I get around back when I slide. Also gets me up to 49 stability and 42 handling. I would get a kill. Radiant's now gonna be proc, and if I use the fusion again, it's Radiant plus the tail end of high impact reserves. It works well. That's if I wanna use a fusion, but the perfect pairing is Malediction. And I wanted to do this video so anybody can use it. A lot of you should have Malediction. And the setup is Discord Harmony. When you get a kill with the fusion rifle, you have three seconds to switch. When the switch happens, you're gonna have Harmony, Radiant, and Discord. Harmony gives 20% more damage and 15 handling for seven seconds. Discord also lasts for seven seconds. You get an ADS animation multiplier, so you aim down sides faster, a huge accuracy cone help, and 30 AE. But the combination of Harmony Radiant is 32% more damage. Pretty much old kill clip. It's a two tap with this hand cannon. So for what you wanna do, rain of fire, go to dim, type in Harmony, and you find a pairing for your fusion rifle. Like right here, you see a messenger, you see Autumn Wind, but Malediction is nasty with it. The two taps, refunding of ammo, and you're gonna be playing very aggressive with this. You're aping with a fusion, and you can't look me in the eyes and say that you haven't had your shotgun out. Sniper, fusion rifle, just running around with it, getting kills. You have, it's destiny. And for me, I do tend to primary first. I was looking, hand cannons and pulses are my top two overall use weapons. And then I looked down and saw that I've missed 12,910 headshots out of 46,104 sniper shots. That's pretty good. But the whole goal, running around, aping with a fusion, looking for two taps. So for your fusion, anything that you want, one that you're comfortable with, could be iterative loop, likely suspect, old school timelines vertex or main ingredient. Perks like kickstart are gonna work well too. Though it's nerfed, it helps charge time, a little bit of damage, and I could use kickstart on this Tekion if I wanted, I'm going with high impact reserves. Going further, your subclass is gonna matter. Tekion, arc weapon, so Stormcaller comes to mind. You can add in traces, being amplified to fly around. But today, I'm doing something pretty sneaky. I'm on Broodweaver. And earlier how I said your stat splits change with specialization, I have 90 recovery, 100 strength, so I'm getting my rift as fast as possible with the build that I have, but I have max melee, and Broodweaver has three melee charges. What I plan to do, get ready for it, is abuse Weave Walk when I can. It was really meme when it came out, but listen up. Go airborne, press dodge, you enter the weave. You have damage resistance in this state, when you want, it's slowly draining your melee energy. You press it again to come out of weave. You're also generating perch threadlings over time. So what I can do with this build is be very aggressive, go in for the fusion shots, get a kill. At that point, the options are high impact reserves radiant on the next target. At a distance, I could switch to harmony radiant malediction, or if I'm in trouble, I can get that kill, then weave walk away from danger, get to cover, come out of weave walk, switch to the hand cannon, then have Harmony Radiant Discord. It's very satisfying, very sneaky, very lethal. And for the rest of my setup, I have Weaver's Call, so cast the Rift, get three Threadlings, I have the Threadling Grenade. Warding, picking up an orb, grants Woven Mail. Transmutation, will I have Woven Mail, weapon final blows create a tangle. Evolution, the Threadlings travel further, they deal more damage. Because of Weave Walk, that's why having the max strength is important. On the helmet targeting, arms loaders, chest unflinching, I have Recuperation, Absolution, and Better Already. And then I have Double Outreach Reaper. So when I cast my Riff, I get a lot of melee energy back. Next weapon, Final Blow, I get an Orb. Then I get Woven Mail and go from there. I've used a lot of different things, a lot of different builds. This is one of my favorites. Try it out. The main thing, Reign of Fire, Fusion of Choice, Harmony Pairing. And don't forget, you can go Stasis Fusion with an Arc Solar Avoid Primary Weapon too. It is fun. And hopefully in the live gameplay coming up right now, I can show off some Weave Walk Assassin shenanigans. Awesome. We're on Endless Veil. I don't think so, no. It's a gentleman's game. 
What's so nice about this setup is you just go, right? You run around with the fusion, you get in fusion kills, you have at your disposal the radiant fusion, you have the harmony two taps, you have the cheeky uh, weave walk, man. It's so good. You know what? And you're going to see, even though I'm going to be using Weave Walk a ton, I'm going to have my melee back in no time. There's the Harmony. It lasts forever. Okay, there's a Monte Carlo over there. Going for it. Okay. Move up. Got my two taps. Probably gonna be coming outside. Take shots with it. See, I'm not really worried about my hand cannon ammo because I'm gonna I'm gonna be discording. Four shots is pretty low. All right, see if we can get in here. I cannot believe I hit that corner. Not just bad, y'all didn't see that. All right, so actually I think the play is outside and use my primary. Oh no, man, they're like here. still here? Who's this? Alright, so I have the two taps. They're going to be on the other side. Oh, jeez. That's no good. I'm going to try to help. He's got hate in his heart. I should have walked. That's the time to do those types of things. And I've used it a ton. I'm already... I'm still at max. Nice DR from the Rift Proc. It's cool. Heavy is still there. You know, it's funny. I, I do have Sleeper. More? I'm out. I don't like it. Okay, he did. You know, I'm going to get woven mail. Say, he did just pop a rip there for no good reason at all. Get them, my little threadlings. Fortunately, it's like Endless Veil. Vale. I mean, you can do this on Cathedral and all these big maps, but just it's more natural on something like this. See, and I did switch to Vanguard's Vindication because I'm putting, I'm overextending a lot. I mean, wild card's great, right? But I'm overextending so much. Should I, should I do this? Yeah, I should. Yes, I should. Oh, what? Shoot him! Shoot him, Hex! They're still chasing me. Five minutes left. Keep it up. Have advantage. <laughs> Alright, going all the way right would be a bad idea, but what we can do is throw that right there. Hopefully not die. Oh! Help me, Tom Cruise! That guy did do anything you're just sitting with a shotgun out in the middle of nowhere and nobody took him out barely
<laughs> sick. This is a, it's a, it's a good little, good little ability here. Probably like 32 defeats. 33, pretty good. So let's think for a second. I mean, a fusion's a fusion's a fusion. It's gonna be okay, but where can I maximize what I wanna do? And I think it's gonna be B hallway and back alpha hallway. Don't shoot me. These two spots. Okay, still sniping right here. This is bad. Incredible. I should have we walked again. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Okay. All right, I want two shots here. Wow, that was a good. You know what? I think we got this. Textbook. Want that? Nope. Okay, it's all right. I'll let you have it. Perch some threadlings here. Probably a shotgun. Where, where, where did this guy go? Seeing ghosts. I didn't know you could mantle wall and weave walk. I'm gonna perk some threadlings. Those things are so strong, man. Play in my distance. What? Uh oh. <laughs> my man was flying. 82-88. Got to get Bravo as soon as possible. I just take that with Weave Walk. Dude, it can tank Dawn Blade swipes. Pretty strong. Quest for Bravo continues. Yeah, I'm frozen. What about it? Get a sword. Let's see, I thought I had some pretty good airborne there. I guess not. Nailed him with that. Oof. Never really like to use my arcane needles. It's just pandemonium here, y'all. Shotgun. Wow. B has been the downfall for the squad. I'm ready. Oh, never mind. That was a great thunder crash. How much you chase? Alright, woven mail. Good plays, that's gonna get him. Oh, and they're still getting B, man. Get him, Godzilla, bruh. At least we have thunder crashes for Bravo. Nah, dude. Not working. Not gonna happen. All right, they're back alpha. This is bad. If they push C like they're pushing C, they need to go ahead and just take C. Couldn't get on the ground for my fusion. It all depends if the, if the squad took C. Yep. So we should win now. Zone C captured. You have advantage. I panicked, okay? 
Really? Okay, we should win. Nah, dude. We ain't doing that. I'd say 33? Maybe? 35. Doing okay. Get off the scene. Up top. Beautiful. Oh, we still have it. Beautiful. We walk away. Should be an easy fusion kill if he got shots. I have Harmony Discord up. There's a two. And I just got them all back with that. Whoops. Switch over. Don't do it, Bloodbath. All right, all let's see. I still have it. Do so you want to double back? So I have a lot of time to switch. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. So good. I played a couple more. I just threw in some random clips, but I highly encourage you to try this. It, it's fun at base. Just Reign of Fire, Fusion of Choice, and then you can go with the subclass, right? So Amplified Arc with Stormcaller. But I love Weave Walk with this setup. Max Strength. And I know it's it's super weird running Max Strength on a Broodweaver, but you're able to abuse Weave Walk a ton. Malediction, pound for pound, everything available is really the best option. The 0.5 TTK, nothing's really beating that with Harmony Radiant. And again, it's 32% more damage, extremely strong. So I hope you guys enjoyed the live gameplay. And again, as we go on, I'm gonna continue doing more of these, focus on different builds, different roles on weapons, just talk about it a little bit more. I don't know if you guys heard that, that's my text message. It's the Hawkmoon Cacao. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Have a great weekend. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.